Hello, and today we're at Epcot. We're here for the, the Festival of the Arts, basically a great big party for Figment. <laughs> so we got my Figment attire ready and we have a lot of food. We eat a lot of new booths, a lot of new foods. So we're going to have multiple parts of this festival. We got Mark Emmett's with us, but he's... He's sleeping. So I'm sure he'll join us a little later. And uh, are you hungry? Oh yeah. So yeah, let's go get some food. Here, they're using the Odyssey for a figment-inspired station. It's literally called Figment's Inspiration Station, and I'm very excited for it. Super easy. It was a mobile order. Just like you would do food, you order your figment popcorn buckets and it's already ready. They're on top of it this year. Unlike last year where the people had six hour waits for this, I literally just got here less than two minutes. They must have ordered like thousands of this because there's no way that first day everyone got theirs. People, I'm, I'm seeing everybody around here get, get theirs. I'm very excited. So we go in, we're gonna wait in line here and we can show them our order. So here they are having some art. Wow, look it. You can see backstage, all oh, those are figment buckets. They have figment buckets all over. And it's amazing. And they have a whole setup. They're killing it. Look at the rainbow goes throughout the room. Hello. You got two on yes. the nose, back on the Perfect. Thank you. Very cool feature. I did get two, one for me, one for mom. And I always wondered like why they did his nose like this, right? It's because it opens his back to reveal rainbow popcorn inside. How cute is that? It's a pretty big bag actually. I wonder if I could use this to refill. You know, get like the $2 popcorn. How adorable is that, see? You push the nose down, boom, his back opens. I'm telling you, when I say that Disney doesn't have to, but yet they do, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> they don't gotta do this, but yet here we are. I love it, love it, love it, love guys, it. and how cute is this? I made this little Minnie Mouse bucket to look like Figment. Isn't it cute? Mark, you're in my shop. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love it. All right, guys, look at this spread from the Figment booth. This is a cider flight. We got the Figment smoothie, a rainbow cake, and the Pop Tart. Very excited for all of this. So we're gonna start off with the grape smoothie. And it's just that, a grape smoothie with freeze-dried Skittles on top. And I basically got it just for the, the cup. How cute is that? Festival of the Arts and then him in the back. Oh wow, this is a very familiar taste but I can't pinpoint it. Is it like a grape 
Skittle. I really want to try these uh, freeze dried Skittles though. Mm. These are good. It almost enhances the Skittle flavor. Hi, hey, baby. Can you hear the crunch? These are good. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Taste this smoothie, honey. This is not the best straw because it's a paper straw. Tell me what it reminds you of. Yeah, I had the same reaction. Why is that? Purple, purple pixie stick. Is that what it is? It reminded me of my childhood for sure. Yeah. But I can't pinpoint it. I mean, it's okay. I'm here for the cup, though. All right. So I did also get the cider flight. Just curious. Let's see what kind we got. It's called, there's a black cherry hard cider, a blood orange, and a passion fruit. All right. I think the passion fruit is the yellowest. I'm not getting passion fruit, I'm getting cider for sure. I'm assuming this is the orange. Again, just getting cider. And also maybe because I just had something so sweet that it's taking away the other sweetness of the, the ciders. And this last one's black, black cherry. I'm not a big black cherry fan. I always find it very medicinal. That one just was like the worst part of medicine. You didn't um, taste the Skittles yet, so maybe you can taste the flavors of these ciders. <clears throat> Do you taste anything but cider? It's That's good. supposed to be passion fruit. No, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's good. A little like, added sugar to this one. I don't know what the flavor is supposed to be. Blood but. orange. Yeah. I can see it now. Yeah. I can already feel like it's strong though, right? Yeah, I can like, smell this one. I can like feel the effect of alcohol already. I can't put my, my, I don't know what it is, but I can taste it. Did you like it? It's all right. I didn't like that one. That was black cherry. Okay. I like this one the most. Yeah, it's the lightest. It's just a regular, because cider already has its flavor. You know, right. It, it just tastes like cider the most. Yeah. All right. Let's try the blueberry pop tart, which is also part of the colorful walk. So we've got our stamps. Ooh, this broke very nicely. It's like a gourmet pop tart. Like if a pop tart was just freshly made and instead of sitting on a shelf for like months and years, this is what this would taste like. <laughs> it's true, taste it. I don't know if I want to. What, it's good. You didn't hear the whole thing I said, did you? 
I, I heard you say it tastes like it's been on the shelf for months and years. No. If a Pop Tart was made fresh and not sitting on the shelf oh. for years and years, that's what this would taste like. Uh, okay. Right? Yeah, I know that. Because yeah. it's an exact Pop Tart taste, but fluffier, softer, fresher. Right? Because even the dough tastes just like a yeah. Pop Tart. <laughs> it's pretty good. It doesn't. I still eat those. Yeah, I can feel a little buzz off that already too. So I got a bone to pick about this cake because online and in the book, it was a huge, huge piece of cake. Kind of obnoxious, actually. Now, while I say that this is a better portion and a better bite because you can actually get all the colors in one hit. Yes. But do I feel like I was cheated out of like three more slices of cake? Yes. So, although this was the right move, I still feel some type of way about it. But I gotta say, the filling inside is like a Boston cream almost, a Bavarian, very light. And it almost feels like the cake is slightly under for like an extra moistness. And it has like a, a fruity, not a specific fruity taste, but like a fruity vanilla taste. I'm gonna try it with the Skittle. Eating it with the Skittle makes it seem like the cake is Skittled flavor. I think it ruined regular Skittles for me. You haven't tried the pre-dried Skittle yet, right? Nope. Taste it on its own. It's like so much stronger, right? Yeah. It like, it skittles on crack. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> you really do taste the rainbow. <laughs> wow, right? Do you, you, it, this seems like you don't like it though. No, I don't. It's way too sugary. Do you like I'm, skittles normally? No. Okay, so that's not, see. If you like skittles normally, you'll like this. You wanna try the cake? It's a weird texture, you said? It's a good texture, but just as much of sugar doesn't mean anything. Yeah, he's not too big on sweet. I don't think that tastes just like sugar. I think it does have good flavor. Um, but it is, this whole booth is just sugar and sweet and food dye. But even the jam in this, you can tell they use like good fresh blueberries. <laughs> it's a lot of sweet on sweet. Yeah, I wish they had a savory item here just to kind of cut and balance. That's what it's missing. Maybe they could have done like dragon wings, right? Like chicken wings, but called them dragon wings. But then, very vegan meal. Would you want to? Eat figments wings. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe not. Like maybe not figments wings. Maybe like figments enemies. Everyone has enemies. Oh, we can't eat figments wings. Yeah, maybe but like we can a, eat his enemies. Yeah. It's like going to Sea World and fillet a fish. Or something like that. They do serve fish at Sea World though. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. The smoothie's kind of growing on me. I 
I think it's just a Skittles though. But I can feel like my stomach hurts from all the sugar already. But overall, what do you give the, the pigment boost? A rating from 1 to 10. Uh, it's personal opinion, probably a 3. I like the booze, that's about it. I'm sorry, I'm not a sugar person. So if you're not a sugar person, this is going to be a 3. Yeah, so if we're writing just the alcohol, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Uh, but everything all together, it just, it's not for me. I think it's fun. I think it's gimmicky. I think it's great for kids. Like, if you have like a bunch of kids and you can share all these items. For a large party. It's a lot of sugar for two people and really one because he's like tapping out already so um i personally i love it i think it's super fun and i'm gonna give it a eight oh i thought that boy fell <laughs> i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten and if we're just talking about the popcorn buckets I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because I'm so hyped that I was able to get the popcorn buckets this year because I surely was not standing in a six hour line last year. But yeah, that was the figment booth. I mean, if it was just this, it'd be 10 out of 10. Oh, my bucket. He pointed to the bucket I made. I wasn't including the figments in my rating. Right, so if you include figments in your rating. Uh, I, 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 it would go up from three to maybe a five or six. And that's just not because they're, they're bad, it's just, it, it, only ups the average. Right, right, right. You can only up it so much. Yeah. But thank you for joining us today at the Figment booth. Uh, like and subscribe. And thank you. Wait. Figment's got to be a part of it. So like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. My name is Stephanie. And thank you for being a part of my world.